For more, let's uh, now speak to Juliette Touma, the Director of Communications for UNRWA, the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestinian Refugees. She joins us now from Jordan's capital, Amman. Juliette, the uh, Commissioner General of UNRWA visited Gaza and said that he has never seen anything like it. Paint a picture of what he saw. Yes, uh, he did say that it was a very, very sad day for him. Um, one of the saddest in his uh, humanitarian service, and he's been doing that sort of work for nearly 30 years now. Um, he was very sad to see the people of Gaza, the Palestinian community in Gaza, so stripped of the dignity. All they were asking for was a sip of water and a piece of bread. Um, it is safe to say that we've never ever seen Gaza in such a desperate situation as we have a few days ago, as more than one million people have been forced to flee their homes, our own staff included, our own resources stretched to the, the limits, the limits of the limits. It's unprecedented. Israel says it has essentially besieged Gaza City. How many people do you estimate are still in the city and what are they facing? The siege is across the Gaza Strip, not only Gaza City. The whole Gaza Strip from north to south is under siege, which means that very, very, very little aid and assistance is coming in uh, and including those trucks that are a drop in the ocean that really do not correspond at all to the overwhelming needs of uh, the people. It is very, very hard for people to get out of Gaza. Um, this has come on top of a 16 year long blockade that Gaza has been going through. U.S. Secretary of State uh, Blinken is in Israel to press for humanitarian pauses in Gaza. What is it that you require in that deal in order to provide effective help on the ground, given that UNRWA facilities have been also hit in airstrikes? UNRWA has been calling for many long weeks now for a humanitarian ceasefire. This is long overdue. We have lost 72 colleagues of ours, including most recently our colleague Mai, who is herself displaced. She also had physical disabilities and she was working with us as a software developer. She was killed with members of her family. We are calling for a humanitarian ceasefire once again. Our calls have been falling on deaf ears and we're asking how many more? and how much more suffering, grief, and loss. How much more? A ceasefire is very much needed for humanity. But to the extent that you can get particular and specific about this, you've also been hit. Your infrastructure has been damaged. Uh, how long does that ceasefire need to be? Imagine you get one. What do you actually need from all the forces here in order to do the work that you do? How long is the ceasefire? Forever. The ceasefire needs to last. And as for our facilities, yes, 50 of our facilities, of UN facilities, among them schools as well, but also our headquarters in Gaza City, they have been impacted during this war. And only yesterday you may have seen four schools that were sheltering around 20,000 people have been damaged because of the bombardment and because of the ongoing war. It had those UN facilities, I had UN flags on them. We share the coordinates with parties to the conflict. And there were people who were killed, including children, who were seeking shelter and safety in UN facilities. I'm curious about something. Speaking to the media, your UNRWA chief said that, quoting now, hunger is turning into anger and that civilians in Gaza have absolutely nothing. Are people already starving in Gaza? They're certainly getting hungry, sir. They're certainly getting hungry. The markets are emptying up. Uh, our own supplies are running out. 
those um, the, the trickle of aid that has been coming into Gaza since the 21st of October is by far not enough. Is by far not enough. We have been giving wheat flour to bakeries, but also the bakeries are running out of cooking gas and they're running out of fuel. This is exactly why we've been asking for urgent shipments of fuel. That is uh, Juliette Touma, the Director of Communications for UNRWA. Many, many thanks. Thank you.